Bob, we are here at the Calgary Soccer Centre and we're here to talk about Elevate Lacrosse and the sport of lacrosse. Describe to me what the sport of lacrosse is and its conception. Well, lacrosse is actually the oldest organized sport in North America. The game was originally played amongst First Nation tribes. They would train for battle, for hunting, but uh, primarily tribes would organize a game of lacrosse and resolve their differences. Once French settlers and missionaries came over, they saw this event taking place, found it interesting, took part in it, gave the name lacrosse based on staffs that bishops carried in France because it resembled the, uh, the equipment that First Nations used. Tell us a little bit about the rules of lacrosse. The rules of lacrosse, best way to describe lacrosse is that it's a, it's a comparison with different sports. We have field lacrosse and box lacrosse. Field lacrosse is similar to soccer and hockey. Indoor lacrosse or box lacrosse is similar to basketball and hockey. So you're playing offense and defense at a given time. In field lacrosse, in the outdoor version, there's offsides. It's 10 on 10 for the men's version. It's 12 on 12 for the women's version. Box lacrosse is six on six, so five runners and a goalie. So if you were to see a field lacrosse game, you'd, you'd recognize components of soccer and hockey. If you were to see a box lacrosse game, you'd recognize components of basketball and hockey. So mix that in with some, some contact, fast paced, exciting game. What are some misconceptions or challenges you face as a sport organization with the sport of lacrosse? Some of the misconceptions we face are just awareness of the game. It's easy for players to get involved, but I don't think a lot of families understand the opportunity that kids have, and, and quite frankly, it's the most opportunity of any sport in the, uh, in the collegiate level. There's over 500 schools that offer the sport for women, and about 450 to 480 that offer it for men. We know where to introduce a kid to lacrosse, and I think a lot of, a lot of families know how to get their, their student athlete involved in the game, but what else is out there from an opportunity standpoint at a collegiate level, I think that's a little unaware. So our goal at Elevate is to encourage those kids to try that and educate those families on the opportunity available if they stay in the sport of lacrosse. So I think that awareness of the post-secondary education and opportunity available at a higher level uh, is very unaware. And we're doing our best to, to educate those families and get those kids interested in the sport that they have an opportunity down the road. So whereabouts does Elevate Lacrosse practice in the city of Calgary? Throughout the fall and winter, we're actually at the Calgary Soccer Centre. So our fall program runs outside on the turf fields uh, for field lacrosse. Once we get into the winter, we move indoors into the indoor facility for our box lacrosse program. The summertime, we do the coaching for Calgary Field Lacrosse and that program runs at Optimus Athletic Park outdoors. So there's two great grass fields there that we utilize. We are at a couple different facilities throughout the year, but primarily the Calgary Soccer Centre is one of our, our home bases as well as Optimus Athletic Park. One very unique thing about Elevate Lacrosse is that we are completely vertically integrated. So the moment that a, a young student athlete picks up a stick, they can play in an Elevate Lacrosse program or be a part of an Elevate Lacrosse program all the way to their adulthood. So we run a classroom lacrosse program, we call it Classroom Lacrosse. And we go out to schools and introduce the sport of lacrosse to student athletes around the province. We do an indoor summer camp, indoor Christmas camp, indoor spring camp, which is what we're doing here today. And that's a great introductory program for young players to get involved. Lots of fun and games, lots of skills. As we go throughout our, our year, we have Calgary Field Lacrosse. We do the coaching for that as well. Again, a very introductory grassroots program. As kids develop and get better at the sport of lacrosse, we offer an elite level program in the fall. That is catered to more elite level players, trying to get them off to university, really goal-oriented focused student athletes. We also run a winter training program throughout the winter that allows players to develop both at a developmental and an experience level. Uh, it goes from December to April, and it's all indoor lacrosse, prepping them for their box lacrosse associations. And we run tri clinics, so we give the opportunity to new players that are interested in trying the sport. They can come out here, get a stick in their hand if they've never uh, never done that before. And again, our coaching staff is out here providing them with a, uh, a good introductory experience. We have an outstanding coaching staff. Our coaching staff has a, uh, has a great pedigree, played at all levels of the game. The experience is exceptional that these guys bring to the table. Also, the one-on-one -on -one coaching that we provide is, is outstanding. You know, our guys are very passionate about the sport of lacrosse and giving back to the community and educating those, those players that are very interested in playing. So, you know, we provide a great, unique experience that's very up-tempo, exciting, upbeat, entails the, the whole package of educational coaching experience for the student athletes that come on the floor with us. So how do you make the game more accessible for kids to try the sport of lacrosse? There are a lot of opportunities uh, for those in Calgary. Um, we, we work closely with Kidsport for those that, uh, that need financial assistance. So we actually just had an initiative so all kids can play lacrosse. The slogan for Kidsport is so all kids can play. We tried to throw in the lacrosse. So we worked to donate and raise some funds for these kids to exclusively play lacrosse through Kidsport. If there's financial issues with those families, 
Kid Sports Swear to Go, they're one of our partners. There's a ton of different accessible opportunities within Elevate Lacrosse. We do community work often, so recently we worked with the Autism Asperger's Friendship Society, so we went out and donated our time for five sessions to go provide them a lacrosse experience. There's other organizations out there throughout North America, for example, there's organizations that do wheelchair lacrosse. With regards to Elevate, we do a lot of community work that, uh, that we volunteer our time with and, and go and try to give those, those individuals an experience that they may not get outside of, of being in their current situation. Best way to check out Elevate Lacrosse is to go to elevatelacrosse.com. You can also follow us on social media platforms. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. There's tons of information on the website about grassroots programming, where to start in lacrosse, for those student athletes that are experienced in lacrosse on what's available for them, information on our coaching staff, information on NCAA recruiting. It's a really great website to check out and there's just a ton of information on there. So that's elevatelacrosse.com. People should try lacrosse. It's an excellent sport. Whether you're a young student athlete or an adult, it's a great sport for obviously exercise, cardiovascular activity, working on hand-eye coordination, a good physical sport. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's engaging for kids. And when they're in our, when our programs with Elevate Lacrosse, they get great coaching. And again, our coaches encourage these student athletes quite a bit. They're getting them uh, engaged in the game, having fun playing. And that's a big part of, uh, of why kids want to start playing is because it's fun and it's competitive and there's a ton of opportunity for these kids in the sport of lacrosse.